Hey YouTube, I'm going to try and cover two things on this video uh, from listener questions or comments in previous videos. But Morning Mayan asked, thank you, could you please tell me how to go back and forth between me and a guest and then show us together. I keep messing that up. Uh, this is all related to Ecamm Live, of course. And also uh, Daria asked, uh, I want to conduct interviews and publish them onto YouTube and Facebook. It does not have to be live as long as I have an option to screen share with my guest, if you can tell me how this could be done. So both of these things can be done with uh, Ecamm Live very well. And I think even if you skip out on the live component of Ecamm Live, it still makes for a pretty great way to record interviews over Skype uh, without having to worry about making sure the other person's recording their end and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here we go. I have uh, Ecamm Live running. I also have Skype running. Both of those need to be running in order for this to work. And uh, first of all, for what Dario was asking about recording and not broadcasting live necessarily, the you just need to do that here. If you choose your destination instead of uh, one of the predefined options facebook periscope twitch youtube restream etc you would just record only and so then you notice the button here changes to just record and that will actually just like it says just record whatever is on that little rectangle of the screen and so i've got an overlay here in some of my scenes i've got this overlay for my podcast that i do about podcasting go show me your mic so i could turn that off it's gonna, it it's set to appear in all scenes um, there's some that I have that are supposed to appear in certain scenes in whatever the current scene happens to be. I think I have, have them set with some of the other videos or, or uh, scenes over here. Um, name tags and things like that and screenshots of, of friends eating things, etc. Um, logos and you can position them, reposition them if you want. So um, yeah, text, that kind of stuff. That's what you can do with uh, overlays. But when you hit record... It's going to, if you check your recording, I have it set to actually record all broadcasts. So even if you're streaming live, it's still going to make a recording uh, in the local folder. So I can choose where that is. I can show what it is. It'll open up in Finder. And so then here I've got a recording Good of stuff. That I did, uh, recently of that podcast. And uh, you can change that to, if you want somewhere else to choose a different folder. Uh, I have mine set to the movies folder. And uh, also under options here, one thing to note is um, you can turn on high quality mode for video and audio. You kind of want to do that if, you, if your computer can support it anyways, so that you get the best quality audio and video to begin with. That's how you can do the recording of a, of a conversation right to your desktop and without having to worry about streaming live. Now to cover how screen sharing your desktop, my desktop, out to wherever I'm going. So I'm just going to turn off these overlays just to clean up the screen a bit. Um, now you'll notice because I've got, uh, in order to do a uh, Skype test, I need someone to call. And so I've actually called myself on my laptop um, just for to be a little silly here. So it'll, it'll be a little confusing because it's me sort of at different angles at both times. But within uh, Ecamm Live, you can see because I have a Skype call going, um, or even if you, you can test this out with just Skype running, you don't have to have a Skype call going at the same time. You, like you could just, it would just show you the Skype logo if you weren't actually on a call. So I can right now in any scene where it's switched to the video camera option, the camera, like my camera here that you're all looking at as well, um, it'll show me any calls that I have on Skype as well. So you can change it within each scene if you want, or you can set up in a scene that's like, uh, so right now this is just me as I have it here. And if I could press command four or click to over here, it's going to switch double click, I guess, triple click, click on the play. There we go. It's going to switch to a nice profile view <laughs> show, um, uh, from my laptop down here, uh, which is on the Skype call and also my web camera as well. And the overlay here, you can see where I can click on and go back and forth from just me, my guest, just me, my guest, shift click and get both of us. Unfortunately, there isn't an easy way. So if you go to your guest, I clicked on my guest now. And then if I want to get both of us back on the screen, but keep you know me on the left, my guest on the right, you kind of have to go back to yourself and add, you hold down shift and click to get both of them back on the both video feeds back on. That should hopefully explain how, So, and it actually works really well even if you have three or four guests, there would just be multiple windows here that you can click and that'll work. Um, the other question that, uh, I forget who had it, which one of you had it, but showing your desktop as well to the screen, so like out to the to Ecamm Live, I set up a, a scene that's just my desktop, so Command-5, and that's where it gets confusing is within Ecamm Live, so um, if I showed, I don't have anything on my desktop right now, but you can see if I, it's hard to show it while showing it. <laughs> 
But you can see that what's in the middle there looks like a little, um, you can see that there's my finder window is moving around inside there. So they would see everything along with the overlay of my camera. Um, you can change that if you want to sh have it off. Um, so what's confusing, what I was going to say within Ecamm Live is you can, you can have these scenes set up that are predefined. So I've got my Skype chat here. I've got command three is just me. Back to Skype chat, just me. Command five to the desktop. Uh, I've got another screen that was like a browser window. That was a chat window, but it's not running right now. Um, but what you can also do is where I think most people get messed up on, on this as I keep flipping around here is let's say I've got just me here and I click this. Well, that and maybe shift click and go back. Now I've actually got, it's not just me, obviously it's me. Well, it is <laughs> technically, but it, um, it's me and my guest. So I'm on the right, my guest is on the left. And if I switch over here to this scene where it's a Skype chat, it's gonna flip. And so then I'm like, I've lost now where just me is because I changed the scene. So I can, I'd have to go back and just click on my image there, my camera, and then it's back to just me. And so then my shortcut, scene shortcuts work again. Same here with if I go to the desktop, maybe I accidentally click up here on the camera, which then is back to effectively being just me. And so then I can switch to the scene that's just that I've called just me, command three, and it looks the same as the desktop. And now I've lost my desktop, but that's because I changed that scene. Um, so by clicking here, I can show back, go back to that uh, desktop scene. Again, turn off that crop to fill if I want. I think it's already filling. I could choose to use my secondary display that I have a second monitor plugged in, or you can just choose a specific application that you're running. So I could just choose the scenes layer within that application uh, or just the, whatever the current application is. So that gets a little confusing, I know, for folks when you're trying to figure out what is it actually going to show. But it's best, like just like I have with this chat window, um, it was actually set to a browser window. So I'd have Safari running and so I'm just quickly show that. So I might have Safari running and I could show Safari or Ecamm Live or the whole display, which will show Safari as well because it happens to be on this, this same display. I think if I had multiple tabs open, if I go to, um, let's go to a nice little website, Lemon Productions SC. That's a good good website. Um, Safari, oh no, I guess it is. I thought maybe you could show tabs as well, but just the, but I think if it was in a separate window, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So now I can have either the good stuff or for some reason it's showing up as untitled, I guess, because it didn't load fully. So you can zoom it to fill the window. It's kind of handy, so you don't have to resize and spend time resizing. At any rate, so that could be chat window, let's say, or whatever, or Safari. I could rename this to Safari window. And flip over to just me, flip to Skype chat, flip to the desktop, which will show Safari, but anything else I'm doing on my desktop. It's kind of handy to have both of those, depending on what you're doing. So Safari window could also be Keynote, let's say, if you're PowerPoint, if you're showing some sort of presentation to somebody over uh, Skype or over the, the call. Finally, so that desktop is getting, whatever is getting displayed here in this little window, uh, I guess you can't see my hands, but in this window here is what's going out onto the stream if you're streaming live and also what's getting recorded to your desktop. If you're wanting your guests, so me and, and an alternate view over here, to also see what's on, what's happening on the desktop, that's where you need to actually in Skype, So because that's your call. I'm just going to close these windows down because it's going to get confusing with all this stuff going on. Um, It'll switch over to Skype. So right now what I'm seeing in Skype is my guest. That's me, but it's my guest. And so if I switch, flip down here to share screen, I can choose to share. I've got two screens here. If you just have one, um, you would just see the one option, but you can also just share just an application. So if I wanted to just share Ecamm Live or the call recorder, if I still had Safari running, I could just share that. And that's probably the best option if you want to just share, if you're doing a presentation with them or you're walking through something with them that you're wanting to record. Um, or just do your whole screen if that keeps it simple. If you're not worried about um, things popping up, notifications, whatever that might come in while you're talking to the person, you can start sharing. So now on that screen, which I can't really show you very easily, but uh, on the laptop, they would be seeing my entire desktop. So even though, and it'll switch to, they'll be seeing uh, whatever is on the screen. So it doesn't matter. Right now there's uh, an overlay of... Um, Ecamm Live and Skype, just like you guys are seeing on the recording, it gets a little meta and kind of looping on itself here. Um, 
so they'll see everything that you're seeing on your desktop. It can be handy to have, like if you've got a second monitor like I do to have Ecamm Live on that monitor, let's say, or maybe your presentation if you're wanting to do that. Um, so I could drag Skype over to the second monitor, uh, let's say, and not be distracted by having that below me. And it's still, Ecamm Live still functions just fine. But then when I switch to the desktop, of course, right now, Skype isn't there. And so it's kind of handy in terms of, because if I had Skype there, then you would see Skype underneath on my desktop. So uh, whatever works best for you is obviously what's going to work best. And uh, hopefully that helps you figure out a little bit about how Ecamm Live's layers, scenes, etc. work. Um, and uh, feel free to ask any more questions down in the comments below. Thanks for those comments and questions from folks already. All right, thanks again to Morning Mayan and Darius said for comments and questions. And uh, that gives me great stuff to respond with new videos for. So keep those coming and I'll obviously do it do new videos when I can. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, please feel free to throw those down below and upvote and thumbs up and hearts and all the other stuff that we do on YouTube here. And feel free to subscribe and share with your friends. I do uh, podcast consulting, video streaming consulting kind of stuff for small businesses and folks probably just like you that are searching on YouTube and wanting a bit more help into leveling up their video and audio work. And so you can visit lemonproductions.ca slash hire is where you want to, if you want to just like book something right away, check my calendar and book something in with me uh, or lemonproductions.ca, of course, for the blog and, and signing up for a newsletter and all that kind of stuff. If you just want to kind of be aware of what, what's coming up uh, in Lemon Productions land. I'm Chris Enns. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you again next time. I'm Chris Enns. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you. <laughs> Don't destroy your video or your microphone. <laughs> Let's try that again. This stand is janky right now.